Hello, I'm Doug Shepard from J&D Fitness Group, and today we're going to discuss the benefits of running versus rebounding. Running has been around and it will continue to be around. It's one of the most dynamic and great exercise to building cardiovascular strength. Now, again, some of the mistakes that people run into is improper running mechanics, improper footwear, and not stretching before and after. But if we can address all those issues with proper warming up, getting in a dynamic warm up, there's nothing better than running. You're working on three joints when you're running. You're working on the ankle, knee, and the hip. Each are flexed, and typically you're gonna be strengthening all three of those joints. Two work on mobility, the ankle and the hip. One works on stability, the knee. They all work synergistically together. And again, nothing's gonna improve cardiovascular strength better than running. But one of the complaints that you'll hear from the running team community, and also in the medical community, because they're dealing with it, are the injuries that come along with running. Now, as I mentioned prior, if we work on proper gait, which is gonna be your alignment, that's saying that, that we're not rotating our feet out, that we're keeping our body upright, the knees rotated out. If we can just improve that by keeping a neutral alignment with our toes and knees pointing straight ahead, also maintaining a tall, upright posture, not allowing our shoulders to slouch and pull forward. This is also going to assist you in getting adequate oxygen supply. When we're inhaling through our nose, exhaling through our mouth, getting more air. Some people have stated you can get up to 20% more oxygen just by adjusting your posture and using a proper arm pump, not just allowing the arms just to hang by our sides. So by doing that simply alone can assist us in some of the injuries that people have sustained while running. But nothing's going to change that running is a high impact sport. High impact is defined that at any given time, both feet are off the ground. In high impact and in running, you can put anywhere from three to five times your body weight on a given joint at any time. So as I mentioned, the ankle, knee, and hip are constantly absorbing that impact. So even if you run on a track or a treadmill, you're still susceptible for a breakdown eventually. I like to make the comparison of a tire. Tread eventually, even on a good tire, is going to wear down. So it's not a question of if, but more or less when you're going to experience some type of injury from running. Now, one of the benefits of using a rebounder or a mini trampoline is that much of that impact that you absorb because the ground doesn't, the trampoline is going to, is going to absorb that. So you're still getting the workout working the ankle, knee, and hip flexion. We're still getting the workout of working mobility on the ankle and hip. We're still stabilizing the knee, but able to disregard some of the impact that we're going to sustain on our body. Once safely in the center of the rebounder, as you see, you can bounce, you can go in the skips and shuffles. You can even go one leg hops and do di different movements. On the rebounder, you're going to see it takes a different element of body control and also deceleration. Again, without the impact of running. So the only thing that lacks is your own creativity. Now the trade-off is that by performing rebounding or working on a mini trampoline, you are limited to the size of your trampoline. As opposed to running, you have pretty much no limitations, specifically if you're outdoors. Second thing is, the thing that gravitates and draws a lot of people towards running is being in the outdoors. And by working on a trampoline, you're not going to get those benefits. Now, you can bring it outdoors, but what a lot of people like to do is to run and see different scenery and landscape. So we're negating that benefit, which is almost more of a mental as opposed to a physical. As far as the physical component, your joints will definitely benefit by rebounding as opposed to running. For many athletes, I recommend doing this in an off-season program where, again, it's all about recovering from your season or your sport. And I'd recommend just for seasonal runners to mix it in with their running routines where they may want to do some rebounding once a week, once every other week, and save our body a bit. So that's the difference between rebounding and jogging. 